Hello, I'm Lutra FM, back again with another uh, review video. Uh, this one is video number two from the same supplier I had before. Um, I hope the people who watched the video last Sunday have managed to get in touch with the person I bought from, from that Facebook group. I hope you've managed to do some purchases by the time this video comes out. Maybe some of you, um, I forgot to say in the last video, literally i ordered the shirt and within about five or six days they turned up which is amazing considering they're coming from all the way from china i'm not saying that's going to happen for everybody but um yeah i was really impressed how quick the delivery was for that one with the ones i got so yeah anyway right um thank you as always like i said for your support i hope you enjoyed the first video this is the second video and in this video we've got five more shirts to review so in a in a second, I'll just get cracking with the first shirt. So bear with me two seconds. Right, so this is the first shirt of the video. It's a really nice grey, silvery grey Real Madrid shirt. And it, honestly, it, the, the, the video doesn't do it justice. It's such a nice shirt. Pattern's lovely as well. Um, I'm trying to see what it says on the on the pattern. I can't really see. I don't, want, I don't know if I can zoom it in and you'll... I turn it over. I turn it around. Sorry, that might be might be able to read it from there. I think there's some sort of word in there or something. I could be wrong. But anyway, it's like I said, it's a really nice shirt. It feels like not a typical football shirt as well. It feels like a polo shirt. If I'm not complaining, I mean the collar looks like a polo shirt as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's such a nice shirt. Um, I'm really happy with this one. But yeah, I'm going to try this on now and we'll see what it feels like on me. Two seconds. Right, so here it is on me. Um, it feels nice. There's a bit of gif as well. The only downside is the length of the shirt's not very big, as you can tell. Like on here, it, I, I feel like I'm going to have to keep constantly pulling it down, which puts me off wearing it. Um, but I think I'll wear it out and about every so often. Like, I mean, I'll be wearing jeans, so I can tuck the jeans over the belly. And it won't it won't make be much of an issue. Anyway, I'm gonna push this back up. Sorry. Um but yeah, it feels like a nice shirt to be honest. I really like it. So um yeah, quite happy with this. This would have probably cost me about 70, 80 quid if I bought it legit. Um worst case scenario, if I think it's too small for me, I know that my dad'll have it because my dad's a lot smaller than me waist wise. So he's a Real Madrid fan. So he'll he'll wear this. Um he doesn't really buy clothes often, so he'll wear this all the time. So he'll get some wear and tear out of this. But yeah, feels like a really nice shirt, as I said. It feels like a polo shirt. It's different material than the, the usual football shirts. Um, so yeah, it reminds me. This one reminds me of the, I can't remember what season it was, but Real Madrid have had similar collar, similar type of shirt before for the home shirt. Um, and like I said, the, the I like the writing on the, the there. I don't know what it says, though. I can see a B. And that's about it really anyway right i'll be back in a sec with the next shirt so the next shirt is a collaboration or i think maybe amani's now doing shirts for napoli so this is napoli shirt look at the pattern on there look at the schools i've got um loads of school tattoos there i mean you can see there like i said they're very similar them school tattoos there are very similar to the ones on here in the shirt there so that's pretty cool um i just like football shirts that don't look like football shirts like this one really wouldn't think this is a football shirt you think this is something else but it's really nice like i said collaboration with amani um and then on the back there's the sscm which i can assume means something to do with um napoli in the inside there you've got the amani sticker um and then you've got the tag here i actually watched the youtuber yesterday and i'm sorry for um oh no this one says skin fit oh no this ain't gonna work well is it um so yeah so i watched the youtuber yesterday he posted a video i'm sorry i can't remember his name he's a bold guy with a bit of a beard quite slim um a bit of a london accent i can't remember his name no, i do apologize buddy um and he bought this shirt from, he, he got this shirt i think from a mystery shirt supplier and um he had a bit of issues with it because it didn't come with any in 
inside. I mean, it didn't come with this. Um, it didn't have any care label, and then he got in touch with the company, and they said basically they got a bunch of these from um, Amani or something like that, and I don't know, there was something dodgy going on, so he wasn't happy, but it does, does look like a really nice shirt. I just hope it fits me, because they're skin fit, so it might be an issue of this might be one where I only wear when I'm recording videos and not necessarily wear when I'm out and about. But like I said, it's a really cool T-shirt, a really cool football shirt. I like, all, I love all the schools. Anything with schools is a win for me. Right, so let's see what it uh, feels like on me. Um, they weren't kidding when they said skin fit. Um, it's not, it's not leaving much to the imagination. You, you can literally, you, you know, it's not good, is it? Um, but yeah, like I said, I can wear this doing a foot, doing a football manager video or whatever. And it won't be an issue because you can only see. I'll be sat down like this, so you can only see the top bit, so it's fine. Um, it, I've got football shirts that I've bought that I can wear out and about, and then I've got ones that I can't wear. Uh, and eventually, some of them, when I when my girlfriend finally gets the spare room sorted, I'll be doing all my videos in there. So then I can have some of the other shirts that I bought that I can't wear behind me, so on the wall. So it'll give it a bit of a nice ambience to the room. Um, so yeah, but it's so like I said, it feels nice. As I said, skin tight, uh, skin fit. Sorry, um, the material feels nice on me. It just doesn't look nice in the in the belly department. But as I said, well, that's what's going to happen most of the shirts. But yeah, it's definitely a really cool. I would say so far, my favourite shirts from both from doing this video and the previous video from this order have been the Ajax one, then this one, and then I'd probably say the not on no no uh, the Barcelona one, even though it didn't really fit me that well, but. Right then, in a second we'll have the next shirt. Right, so this next shirt, this is the first of uh, two Man United shirts I've got coming up. Um, this one, I've got no idea if this is a third, third shirt or uh, anything like that. It was just on the website and because it's my Man United shirt and also because it might be a training top. I think it might be a training top actually. Because I think, I think Tessos did the training gear for Man United, so I think this is a training top. But it, it looks nice, look at the pattern on there, look at that. Got and black and gold as well. You can't go wrong with black and gold as far as I'm concerned. Um, my my um the colours I've got in my logo for my YouTube channel is black and gold. So there you go. Happy days. But look at that it's a really nice, cool looking pattern as well. Um, and then you've got you've got the Adidas inside label inside label there. You've got the tags. Is there? Um, what's that say? Licensed product. I oh, don't know. I thought it would have said training gear or something. Got a barcode there. Um, I can't see if there's any badges on the on the sleeves in there. Oh yeah, and it feels it feels so silky as well. It feels very similar to this one here. Um, so you know, I'm gonna if I wear this out in the sun though, I'm gonna sweat a lot. Black is never the best color to wear when it's hot. It looks good because it looks slimming, but it, it you end up sweating to death. Yeah, right. We'll see what this looks like on me in a second. Right, so uh, yeah, it feels all right. It feels nice. Um, like most football shirts, it's obviously on the belly wise. It's not not good, but but I I can wear this, and I wouldn't be too bothered about that. Um, it's weird. It's, it's just it's the slightest couple of inches there here or there. I I feel less self conscious. So like this is quite tight, but I I feel like because there's a bit of leeway here, it doesn't look as bad. Whereas other ones I had like that Barcelona one one, it was just emphasizing too much on the belly so it's a bit off-putting but just not that i not that most people will care if they see me in it but you know you just get one idiot snickering uh, sniggering at you because you're a fat guy in a, in a bloody football shirt and it will just it'll just ruin your self-confidence for the week like it does with me um but yeah like i said it's a nice shirt love the pattern uh man united obviously i've now got about 15 man united shirts um, my wardrobe, I'm, I'm going to need two wardrobes, I'm going to need one just for the Man United shirts, it's ridiculous at the moment. I'm getting to the point now where I've got no room for, for foot, football shirts, so I'm going to have to start putting something like a big grey bag and then putting them on top of my wardrobe. Um, but yeah, like I said, it is a nice shirt. Right, I'll be back in a sec with the second Man United shirt of this episode. Right, so this is the second Man United shirt, look at this. Look at this for a shirt. I've wanted this one for ages now. So I think this one is a Man United shirt 
um, to do with the LGBTQ um, support. So I think that's why you've got all the different, I think these are like the colours for the LGBTQ. I could be wrong, I'm not that tuned up with it, so please don't be offended if you are um, anybody in that community and you're offended. I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm, I'm just I'm just ignorant, I don't know. So I'm just lack of knowledge. Um, but yeah, really nice shirt in general. I would buy this even if it was nothing to do with the LGBTQ community, but I just think it's a nice way of showing support. Um, love you nice. And this is the one football shirt that my girlfriend said, if you didn't have a Man United badge on, I would actually probably wear it. If I was ever going to wear a football shirt, this would be the one, but she still wouldn't wear it. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's nice. Nice colours. Black, black, but obviously it's got a bit of colour on it as well. You could definitely wear this on a night out or uh, on, a, on a sunny day. Not that we have many of them here in the UK, but yeah, it's nice then. You've got the, the tags as well, as usual. Um, I was seeing if it would say specifically what this is. If it's got a particular name, it just says Adidas jersey. Obviously, I can have a look online, but yeah, so we'll have a, we'll see what this uh, looks like on me in two seconds. Right, so here it is on me. Um, similar to the other one, like I said, a bit tight on the belly, but I can still wear it and I wouldn't be, anything, anything it will motivate me to lose more, more of this pod sort of fit, you know, so that's what I'm using, that's why I'm buying these shirts as well as motivation, because obviously I want to get the retro shirts, but the retro shirts only go up to a 2XL. And at the moment I'm a four XL, so I need to lose more of this because it's so it's good motivation for me. To get ill, otherwise I probably wouldn't be that bothered. I mean I'm doing well. I've been doing well the last couple of years, but it's extra motivation. But yeah, I really like I really like the um. As I said I really like all these different colours. It's so cool. And yeah, showing my support to the LGBTQ community as well. Um, I've got a few friends and I've got a um, relative who is gay as well. So, yeah, like I said, um, really nice football shirt. Loves, love unites. There you go. Right, in a second, we'll do the last shirt of this video. Back in a sec. Right, so the last shirt of the video is a Benfica home shirt. I've always wanted a Benfica shirt. They pretty much look the same every year, don't they, these Benfica shirts? They literally look the same. So, um, close up of the badges there. Nicely done there. Love the collar. Love that triangle collar. And I like the fact that it's got, it's got white there and then it goes up to red there as well. I like the Adidas. I love me an Adidas shirt anyway. I love the stripes. Reminds me of the good old days. I can wear these. I could wear this with my red Adidas trainers and red Adidas tracksuit bottoms. And I would embarrass the hell out of my girlfriend. So, happy days ahead. Um, but there you go. That's the on the back. Is there anything at the bottom? But um got the usual inside there. Um like I said, these are really good quality shirts at the end of the day. Um and I think like I said, I think they cost about fifteen quid each. I could be wrong, I can't remember. I haven't got the the order details on me to have a look. But I think it cost me about 150 quid for the ten shirts and that's including postage. So when you take that out, it's like even postage is probably about thirty quid. So you're looking at about like like twelve quid each shirt plus postage. Um, and I think postage might have been free, so it might have been 15 quid each shirt, but free postage or something like that. Because I bought 10, it might have worked out cheaper as well. Um, but yeah, really nice shirt. I always want, like I said, I always wanted a Benfica shirt. I want to try and get a Sport and Lisbon shirt and a Porto shirt at some point as well. Porto's done some really nice shirts back in the day. Um, but yeah, we'll see what this final shirt looks like on me in two seconds. Right, so from all the shirts that, have, uh, that I've put on in this video and last video, this one actually fits me the best. It feels really stretchy as well. So, and red's my favorite. Red and black are my favorite color. So, the, the fact that this fits me, I can wear this with my red Adidas tracksuit bottoms, go to the gym, look a bit stylish. Yeah, it's a bit tight on the belly, but it's better than the other shirts, I think. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a really nice shirt. I'll do a little twirl. There you go. Um, yeah, if you're a chubby chaser, this video must be doing everything for you right now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, right, yeah, but like I said, I love the collar, triangle collar, um, the Adidas shirts. You can't go wrong with Adidas shirts. 
I'd say that, I mean, personally, I prefer them to night shirts, but everybody's different. Um, I was brought up to, as an, uh, a kid of the eight, uh, 80s and 90s, so Adidas was the brand. And then, obviously, from 2000 onwards, I'd say Nike took over. Um, so if you're born 2000s-wise, then Nike's probably the brand for you. Air Jordans, so, you know, Air Jordan, I think, changed the game for Nike. I've got a pair of Air Jordans, and they're beautiful. This shirt actually would go nicely with the Air Jordans I've got because they're white and red. So, yeah, it's like I said, it's a really nice shirt. Um, on that note, I'm going to head off, but I'll be back next Sunday with a review video for um, KitPG. There's, um, the website I used is called BRAFS, sorry, BRFAS1.com or something like that, which is their backup website. But you, you can easily find KitPG um, on there as well. Also, if you want to um, find out about football shirts and things like that. There's a, there's a guy who's got his Discord channel um, called Trequinio, T-R-E-Q-U-I-N-H-O. If you type in that into Google, put Discord, Discord channel's there, and he's got, and then what you need to do is, the first thing you need to do is uh, tick, uh, is it like, like, go to the rules, like the post on the rules that he's put in, and then it will give you all the other, um, there's, there's a section for football shirts, there's a section for fake football shirts, and then there's a section for each different crusted. He's got like a crusted um, football shirt supplier. And then there's a section each for that one. And then you'll see loads of people there that have posted shirts that they've bought. So it's a great resource for people who want to start looking into buying fake football shirts. Um, he's a really nice bloke, helpful. He does videos on YouTube as well. That his football manager videos, and he does football shirt, fake football shirt videos, and mystery shirt videos, I think. So check him out. Um, but yeah. I'm going to head off and I'll be back next Sunday with another video. All the best. Bye.